today I'm gonna show you how to connect Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and Microsoft Visual Studio so at first we are gonna create a new database just gonna name it whatever I like there is our new database we have to create a new table after providing the column names I'm just gonna save it you can name it whatever you like I'm just naming it university and click OK and there is our new table which is completely null right now so let's go to Microsoft Visual Studio we're gonna open a new project Windows form applications and you can name it anything you like there is a new project a new form I'm just gonna place a button over this and uh, this is saying button 1 I'm just gonna change this and name it connect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button and if the connection is successful then I will have some new data in my table so let's see if we can do this just double click on the connect button and it will redirect you to the code section at first you have to write a new line here just write as I do after adding this line we're gonna write something in this area but for now I'm just gonna copy paste uh, some code which I will provide you in the video description so these are the codes I was talking about and let's see what we have in this line this is the line where we're creating the connection at first there is server it means the server name so where can you get the server name you just have to go to Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio then file connect object explorer there server name so this is the name just copy this and go back to Visual Studio and paste it here you can see that there is only one slash just add another and you are good to go now the database this is the database name which is connection you can see right here this is my database connection and after that just user ID and password where can you get those info just go to object explorer and there login and password this is my username this is my password just provide them here and your connection is ready to be created so you can see that this is an uh, SQL query which will help us to insert some new values to our table so if the connection is successful when I'm gonna click connect button it will say that I'm connected and it will show these values in this table but if the connection is not successful then it's gonna give me uh, something else some else message or anything else you want so let's see if it works if it works then we are gonna have just these values in this area so I'm just gonna run this you can see that there is our form I'm just gonna click connect and it's showing me that I'm connected that means we should have some new values in this table now I'm just gonna close it and uh, open again 
and you can see that there are some new values in this table so let's test it again just to be sure just changing these values a bit and let's run it again so if I click connect I should have these values in my table let's see yeah as you can see that we now have two rows in our table which was completely null before so this is how you can create a connection between Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and Microsoft Visual Studio. Thank you all for watching this and I'll provide all the necessary links in the video description.